Hi, welcome back. Today let's have a look at how to use the placeable toolkit in Giants Editor 10.05. We'll start off with a map mod. If you have a quick look at it, we have a mod description um, with some default configuration, nothing special. We are linking to our placeables.xml file. We can look at it over here. It's still an empty placeables file. That's it for our map for now. We also have a second project that we are using. Using That's this one, the Specialized Productions. Um, if we have a look at this one, um, it has a mod description as well. It includes some custom pellets and some custom production points. We have fill types over here and some translations. We see the same thing in the folder structure over here. So what we are interested in is to include all this stuff in the map we are making. So let's just add this for now. Go back to our files. Let's copy all of this stuff from the production point and paste it inside of our map. So we have it available inside of our map. Um, now that we have the files and we have linked them as store items, we can open up our map itself. Okay, great. Now that we are here, we can open the placeable toolkit. First thing we're going to do is configure the placeable config file. So we're going to look for our map again, over here in source. Um, we're looking for the placeable, so we're going to map config and select our placeable XML file. And secondly, in the mod folder, that's the location where the i3d files are going to be loaded from. So we're also going to select our mod because we're going to include some production points in our map itself. So we'll just select the map folder where uh, this other stuff from the map is also available. Uh, now that we have configured it, we can press validate placeables. It will not say anything because we don't have any placeables yet. Now we can just open them up. So in my map folder where I copied the new placeables, I can now, for example, include the bakery. It will import it into GE for me. And let's place it over here somewhere. Maybe move it around. Now we have the placeable in our map. We can click on it. We can see the same user attributes, the uncreate, a unique ID that has been generated. Um, and lastly, the XML file name. So here's still a problem. Um, this is referencing a local file on my system. We don't really want that, so I can delete the first part until the place where the folder, folder structure starts. So placeable, brandless. If I go back to my map files, I should now see, this is my map description. Here I have placeables, brandless, and the same pot that I have over here. Now that we have corrected the XML file, we have the placeable over here. We can look at the placeable itself. The bakery, it's imported as a reference because I chose that over here. That all looks great. We can close this up. It will ask us to save. We could have just saved the editor and it would have done that for us. Um, maybe let's just validate one more time to make sure everything is right. That looks great. Let's save our map in total. and have a look at what has actually happened behind the scenes. So when we have our map now in config placeables, we should see that one line has been added for us, which references our newly generated unique ID. And it is pre-placed because we already added it to our map. Now, this has finished saving. Um, let's install our new map. and load it up in game to see what is happening.
we don't need any special settings, we just want to load up the map. We can maybe already open the console. If anything is wrong with our newly included placeable, we should already see it. We can start our map. Let's click through the guide. Here is our newly imported placeable. Imported with the placeable toolkit. And I can buy it if I have enough money. And it's included over here in the production points. Um, so now I've included this placeable with uh, the placeable toolkit. If I open it back up in the editor, now I have I still have this object. If I move the whole reference around, we place it over there somewhere. Let's save this, go back to our game, let's reopen this map. This one has been saved, I still need to move the new files to my mod directory. Let's restart the same level. through the guide again. Let's take a fly to our new bakery location because it has been moved over here without editing any setting files or XML configurations or stuff because now everything is done in the editor. You have your reference file. This one actually loads the XML file and this is the reference to the actual object that will be included. Now I've used the import reference, but, it, but you can also do the direct import, so you don't even need the i3d file separately anymore. So I think that's about it. Have fun.